In this video, we'll look at the Lewis structure for iron, Fe. Typically, we don't draw Lewis structures for what we call transition metals. Iron is right here, this group here. These are called the transition metals, also called the D block. So in general, you don't draw Lewis structures for these elements here because they can lose different number of valence electrons when they form chemical bonds. So it's not as meaningful to draw the Lewis dot structure here for iron. But if you're asked, here's how you might think about it. The first thing we need is the electron configuration for iron. So here's the electron configuration for iron. Based on this, we could write the condensed electron configuration, which would look like this. Essentially, we just took this here, which is the electron configuration for argon, and we condensed it down to this argon right here. Once you have the condensed notation, you can figure out the valence electrons for iron. These right here, outside of this noble gas core, these are the valence electrons. So if we were to write the Lewis structure, we have eight valence electrons. Let's do that. We'd write Fe, that's the element for iron, and then we'd put the eight valence electrons around the iron. That would look like this. So if you're asked to draw the Lewis structure for iron, this is a pretty good way to do it. You can defend your answer saying that the valence electrons that we put around the iron, they're outside the noble gas core. Do understand, though, that iron, because it's a transition metal, it doesn't necessarily use all of these valence electrons when it bonds. Most often, it'll lose either two or three electrons of these valence electrons to form the Fe2 plus and the Fe3 plus ions. And that's what makes it kind of questionable to draw a Lewis structure for iron. It's not as useful since it will only lose some of the valence electrons. Either way, this is Dr. B looking at the Lewis structure for iron. FE. Thanks for watching.